One day, the teachers were gathering during recess at the high school. One of the teachers is known to be the funniest among the other teachers. Then his fad with a question that got quite a response from his colleague. At that time one of them farted. The funny teacher used the fart as a material for discussion and found out who had farted earlier. The answers from these teachers varied widely. The smell can't be multiplied but can be shared. This is the main principle for big results rather than the smallest expenses. The most powerful position follows the flow of the wind. The sound must be on the tone F. Player kicks to make a sound. Hydrogen sulfide pollutes the atmosphere. These are the characteristics of living things continue their life. This is one of the causes of world war in history. One of the deviant behaviors in someone's attitude. This is strength from within. The energy used is not too big, but the results are awesome. This is one of the characteristics of our nation. Likes to hold back, until conceded. The smell is hard to put into words. Because they were engrossed in their respective opinions, they forgot to ask. Who farted? Danny, a country boy, dreams of being a Navy soldier. It's a wish he's been dreaming for a long time. To make it happen, he trains his physique well to pass the requirements. He was also supported by his parents. His parents sell livestock to pay for his fare to the city and bribing the decision making personal for sake of his son's ideals. Danny took part of selection stage but at the time of the announcement he didn't pass. The following year, he resubmitted to take the selection but didn't pass either. Until three times he tried but still didn't pass. Finally, he was desperate to go to one of the officials who handled the acceptance of the candidate for the Navy. Sir, I have participated in the selection three times but have failed. Livestock, rice fields, my only motorbike I have been sold to be able to participate in this selection. Well, let me check your file first. Please sir, don't give me false hope. The officer checks out the Danny's file. Right. You passed the written exam, physical past exam. But you didn't pass because your two molars were not natural. Do you think to be a soldier use physical warfare or use tooth? An old woman named Barbara lives with her four years old grandson. The child's parents leaved at their grandmother because both of child's parents work across countries. Because she was old, Barbara often forgot what she said herself. One day, Barbara had a visitor. Barbara was busy chatting with her guest. Barbara's grandson David approached because he wanted to pee, saying, Grandma, I want to pee. But the grandmother did not hear, so the grandson shouted, Grandma, I want to pee. The grandmother finally answered, If you want pee, go to toilet. Not long after that grandmother's guest left. Then Barbara said to his grandson. Next time when you want to pee, don't mention like that, it's rude. So, what should I say? Just say I want to sing, grandma got it. One night, David choked to pee, so the grandson said. Grandma, I want to sing. Barbara was fast asleep. Grandma, I want to sing. David shouted in louder voice. Then grandma wake up. You don't sing, it's already late. The grandson couldn't stand it anymore then he shouted. Grandma, I want to sing. You don't shout, the neighbors will be disturbed. It's late night. Barbara continued her sleep. I can't stand it anymore, I want to sing. Okay, please don't sing too loud. Later the neighbors wake up. Barbara continued her sleep again. Okay, grandma. Barbara was surprised early in the morning. The mattress they slept was on wet and smelled of pee. David, why you pee on the bed? You already allow me to sing. Two men enjoying whiskey at a cafe. The atmosphere of the cafe is very quiet. Only the two of them were guests at the cafe. Kenny had been watching the guy just drink cheap and it's also been hours only one glass. 
Drinking without chatting is indeed less relaxed. Then Kenny approaches the man in the corner. After they got acquainted, they finally have fun talking. Where do you work? I've got export soybean business to Asian countries. In almost all countries I have a representative office. Wow you're great. My company has gone international. I have more than 1,000 employees and every month I go around Asia. My turnover more than $1 million. How about you? What's your own business? Penny doesn't want to lose. Oh, I'm Olympic swimming coach. Wow, you are amazing. How many athletes you have trained already? Oh, already hundreds athletes, I can no longer count. You're great. How do you couch them? I have a trick to train athletes until they become Olympic champions. First, I told them to dive for 5 to 10 minutes, if they succeed, I will give them a pin. Wow, you are amazing. And then? Then the next stage, I told them to dive 15 minutes to 20 minutes. If they succeed, I will give them two pins. Wow, you were great and then? Next I told them to dive for 30 to 1 hour. Kenny keeps silent. Wow, you are amazing, I salute. So, how long your athletes can dive? With a sad face Kenny replied. They don't show up anymore. Doesn't show up anymore? What do you mean? Because over time diving, my athlete turned into a fish. Once upon a time, Ray and Tom were both childhood friends. More than 20 years of not seeing each other so they had a reunion. Finally on Christmas holiday, they promised to meet in a cafe. When he met Ray saw Tom had changed a lot. His body is dashing and looks very awesome. Unlike Ryan, who is skinny and dirty. Here are some of the conversations between these two friends. Hi buddy. How are you? It doesn't feel like it's been 20 years we haven't seen each other, right? I still remember you were skinny and dirty, but now you are rich man and dashing. You are cool, man. Thank you. It's all hard work, Ray. Amazing. I'm glad to hear. Well, are you married? What is your job? I am married. I have two kids and I work in the Ministry of Labor. Then Tom asked his best friend again. What about you? Are you married? How many kids do you have? Ray was silent for a moment. He was embarrassed to tell his true state. But he had no desire to lose. I'm not married yet. I'm still focused on my career. Wow, you are great. That's true. Career is important for us. Actually, we both work in the department. What makes our difference is, you are in the department of labor. And I am in the internal energy department. Tom confused. He had never heard of the department. So he asked. Internal energy department? What are the duties and work like? Well, the internal energy department is managing the energy that cannot be seen by the eye. What Ray meant was that he had ability to exorcise ghosts. A middle-aged man, who lives in a village just got lucky. Part of the land was bought by the local government to make access to the freeway. In the village there is no access to communication. That why he also wants to have a cell phone to make it easier to use anywhere. So, he went to town to buy the cell phone. This is their conversation. Sir, I want to buy a mobile phone. What kind of a mobile phone do you think is suitable for this old man? The price is in the range of $150. Oh okay. There sir. This is a product X type A. Big button. So it's easy for you to use. The price is only $120. Oh, that's good. Please prepare the number 2, OK. Don't forget to put it on the phone. I don't know how to set it up. I also want to buy pulses, do you provide? Yes sir. Please choose the number you want. By the way, how much credit do you want to fill? It's up to you to choose. Don't forget to choose a number that is easy to remember. The pulse, please $10 fill, OK? Alright, before I choose, where do you live? Oh, I live at the M village. Sorry sir. It looks like where you live doesn't have a transmitter so there can no signal there. If so, you just add the pulse to 
so that I can use it in the village. Grandpa Dennis was furious, because his eyes could no longer see clearly. Just looking at people is not clear, let alone reading. That's why he went to the eyewear shop. Good afternoon sir, can I help you? It's my eyes are damaged, could you define the good glasses for me? You ever worn glasses before? Not yet. Okay, let me check your eyes first, sir. Then, the shopkeeper prepared equipment to test Mr. Dennis' eyes with a row of letters and numbers. Sir, what letter is this? I can't read. How about this letter? I also can't read. How about this letter? Still I can't read. If this letter? This is still I can't read. Sir, this is the largest letter, let's see again what letters are these. Oh my gosh, this is already uppercase, please try again, come on, this is the biggest letter. It's clear, but I still can't read. The shopkeeper is confused, while scratching his head, very surprised. Why did his keep saying it's not clear, how come? How come, I can no longer show the sample letters? What else can I do, I never been to school. Ma, where's dad? Out of town, why are you? What, what did you say? I'm pregnant. Pregnant? Yes, pregnant. Ah, how could it be? You're just kidding. Come on, take a break. But lately, I've been throwing up a lot. Ah, at least you just catch a cold. Go and buy some rubbing oil there. It will heal later. But why do I like to eat sour food now? Stop dreaming, sissy. I'll stick you later, huh? Which man can give pregnant? What's up with you? Don't make me crazy, sissy. One time, judge holds trial of insult case. The victim's name was Diana while the culprit was her own friend named Stacy. Diana doesn't accept the humiliation, so that this court is carried out. When it was held, the witness were presented, one of the witness who was present when the event was an 85-year-old granny, named Barbara. In the trial between Diana and Stacy, there was a dispute between members of the lottery club where most of the lottery club members were elderly. This is the excerpt of judges' questions and answers to Barbara being called as a witness. Are you okay, mom? Yes, I'm, judge. Do you know why you are present at this trial? No, but I had a letter come inviting me here, so I came. When the gathering on the 5th, were you present at the time? Yes, I was present, that's the social gathering in our neighborhood. Did you hear someone say, you are an evil witch, at the event? What? Did you hear someone say, you are an evil witch, at the event? What do you say? I do not hear. Did you hear someone say, you are an evil witch, at the event? Huh. Don't snap at me. I'm old. Okay. You are as old as my grandson. Don't yell like that. Did you hear someone say, you are an evil witch, at the event? Oh, I do not know, but the people who there said yes. Which people do you mean? Huh. Anybody, everyone present at the event, Many people were present at that time. How many people do you think were present at the event? Ah, oh, I didn't count that. It doesn't matter if I count it. We are a lot. Approximately how many meters was you at that time with Stacy, when her mentions an evil witch? I didn't count how far it is, because I didn't bring a tool to measure distance. After all, why are you questions so weird, huh? So hindered my work embroidered my scarf, there should have been a lot I could embroider. Just for you this trial. Just as you like, I'm in a lot of trouble because of this trial. People who are in conflict. So you make it difficult for me. This is no longer true, I just want to go home. After that Barbara got up from her seat and left the courtroom with a grunt. But then Barbara returned to the chair she was sitting in. All those present at the trial were shocked and confused by this granny acting. Don't forget that all that was asked will be written in the newspaper. Okay, so I can read it. Turns out. Barbara went back to the chair because she missed her bag.
Gustav works at a bus rental service. One day he was asked to take a group of students to a tourist area. On the way, Gustav smelled a very pungent fart smell. Of course, he was very annoyed that this unpleasant smell had been wafting through the bus for quite a while. Because he couldn't stand it, so he continued to drive the bus while asking the student. Who farts? But none of the students confessed, finally he stopped for a while. Then, he asked one by one. You fart, huh? I don't fart, sir. I don't fart, I don't sir. fart sir. I don't fart, sir. Because on one confessed, finally, Gustav shouted. Who farts? Because no one admits. Gustav plans to trap passengers who don't want to admit they did. When they arrive at destination, the student gets off. Gustav let it them and he said. The one who fart didn't pay the fare, huh? I already paid sir.